there, welcome back to my channel. This is Diana with the Paper Pineapple. Welcome back. Welcome to my video number three of my Valentine's series. We're gonna be making a Valentine easel card. And here on the screen are my card dimensions. You can go ahead and pause it so that you can get all the things that you need. Um, so it looks like this, it has a little transparency so it looks like it's floating, super cute. I thought it'd be great to show you how to do this quick and easy uh, easel card. I was looking on Pinterest and they had tons of easel cards and I was so inspired to do one for Valentine's Day. I did end up making this one for my uh, Valentine card swap with um, my group called the Little Pretty Pineapples and so I wanted to help go ahead and make a tutorial for y'all. So you're gonna start off with the base, which is four and a quarter by six inches, and then you wanna cut your mat piece, which is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I used a Martha Stewart scallop edge to do the edging, just to give it a little, you know, flair. And I just used my ATG gun to adhere it. Now for this part, you wanna make sure that when you flip, when you flip over the top piece, it covers the top piece. So um, you don't want it sticking out from the bottom. So you wanna have a little space for the scallop to show. Um, and then you want to go. You want to go ahead and get your um, double-sided adhesive tape and um, put two strips there if you can, um, or if you're just thick enough, just one strip. So you want it to fold over so it looks nice and clean. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my tool to take off the sticky part, um, the bottom piece of the sticky tape. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and take out my acetate or transparency film, whatever you have access to. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that to four and a quarter by five and three eighths. Make sure that it um, covers well on my card there. And um, just making sure that it folds over, that it's nice and clean and fits perfect. So um, when you wanna adhere this, you wanna do the fold first. So if you wanna uh, measure the fold, it's at two and three quarters. But for me, it's just easier just to fold it in half. So I know that it's going to be even on both sides. So however your preference. Some like it scored so it's easier to fold, you know, or you just fold it in half. You want the mountain fold um, on the top. And then this is where you want to take the sticky, the little piece off so that you have your tape to adhere your um, acetate on top. And there's a little trick that I want to want to show you when putting this in. When you do the mountain top top, top piece first, you want to make sure that you unfold everything so that it's flush from the bottom, and then you just take it up to the top, and then you gently close it on top so it's nice and clean and easy. Or else you're going to struggle because it is slippery and it slides everywhere. So it's, I find that it's a lot easier to put down. So then when you have that, you just want to take two circles, um, one I cut in half so I can cover the back piece. Um, this I use a die cut, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and put adhesive just at the bottom piece because you want it to pop up. And you want, I just fold it over so I can see where I have the tape at, make sure that it's nice and centered, and then I press down, and there you got your little circle that, that's um, nice and um, straight and then you want to take the other piece that half circle and then you want to um, adhere the bottom piece so that you don't see um, the adhesive from the bottom side because it is clear and you can see it so if you need to just cut it down a little more so that there is no overhang on the circle and just a little add a little adhesive to that and then that covers up the little mess from behind so you want to make sure that it's nice and clean on both sides so there you have your circle and now we're going to get ready to start to embellish um, the top piece for this, I ended up, I have um, a digital um, cut from, I believe it's Crate Paper Heart Day, and I just went ahead and printed that out, cut that out, and adhered it to the center of it, because the theme was, it had to say Happy Valentine's Day, so I wanted to go ahead and put that in the, men in the middle. And um, for these, these are um, Crate Paper Hearts. So what you do is you make a paper, a Crate Paper Rosette, and then I use these dies to cut the, um, crepe paper into a heart and I just add a little adhesive to that it looks really cute I like how that looks and paper rosettes are really easy if you need me to show you how I will definitely can do that for you I can do a tutorial on that um, and then you just add the little foam mounting tape on top just so that it has a little dimension and that I just use a red cardstock and cut that out with my die cut machine and um, now I'm going to get ready to embellish with some sequins 
I love sequins. Here I have a little Valentine mix. If you saw my last video, um, I did make a um, Valentine mix to a gift to my friends for Happy Mail. And I decided to, I made lots because I'm going to use it for other projects. Um, I'll go ahead and link those two videos below if you missed my other two videos. Um, and then I just add my adhesive, my, I added my glue, and then I just add my, my sequins. I was looking for a red one, and so you see me looking here, fishing for a red sequin. And so I just add that there, use my pick-me-up tool, easy to grab my sequins. I love this tool, definitely recommend it if you use a lot of sequins. Um, and now I'm going to use this to um, embellish my card. Now for this, I just use paper. My scraps for my Valentine paper, I use that. Use your stash, guys. There's no need sometimes to even buy embellishments. You can make your own with your own papers. So I just use the foam, foam mounting tape. And this is going to be the stopper that's going to stop the acetate from going forward. And you can still write in it and you know, write your sentiment and in, in to address it to your friend or whoever. And I just add your little envelope and a little camera here. And I call this good, guys. Super quick and easy. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I hope you guys are enjoying this little Valentine series. And I can't wait to show you more. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next crafty video. Bye, guys.